What are we doing? Oh my tattoos! Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting tattoos. Woo! We're here at Paul's shop. Shades of Grey. Woo! Because the sun's like in it, you know. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really liking just that line work. Do we wanna? We can absolutely do it. With I don't know. Work. Do we wanna stretch this out like that at all? Definitely, it looks mad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I think I finally figured it out. Okay. Hopefully. Changes to the last one. everyone my time here at the tiny shiny homestead has come to an end which is heartbreaking but I've I'm just so happy to have been here and really elated it's been an amazing month so we obviously got a lot done with this dome and uh, this is kind of the first time that I'd love to reach out to anybody interested and talk a little bit about myself and what I do back in Australia and so I run Curvitecture which is a natural building company that specializes in super adobe and earth bag building. I've been doing that for 10 years, so I've got a lot of experience, uh, especially with large permitted projects. I've worked on the first four permitted super adobe homes in Australia, and uh, towards the middle of last year, started reaching out deliberately to clients in the US, and I'm really happy to say that I've got a few happening and a few under my belt already. Uh, be their consultant, designer, 
helping getting engineer stamps and then also mentoring them through every single step of the build because this technology is still very new and there can be heaps of questions and they're hard to find the very specific tiny questions sometimes online because every project is so different. I just love working with clients and mentoring everyday people to try and get more of these homes or even just spaces built if you want to build a fire pit, a little seating bench all the way up to a massive two-story mansion you know i would love to be involved and you can find us at curvatexture.com so please get in touch i'd love to work with you and yeah i just want to build more of these things and help people build more On the inside here, Hayden has dug a hole for our exhaust fan. It's a four inch PVC with an exhaust fan stuck in it and screen on the bottom. So we're gonna put it in at an angle to where water won't like come in this way, you know? So we're gonna test fit it and see if it works. Hey, nice. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, it's cool. I suggest maybe putting a little bit of an eyebrow on the outside, on the other end. Okay, we're trying a new technique that Hayden's taught us called a render stop. And so the idea is all of our other earth bag walls, they go down into the ground. We talk about what we learned earlier about clay wicking moisture in the ground and bringing it up. There's a chance over time that we could have moisture come up through the walls. So what this does is this provides sort of a barrier. So we did do gravel rocks here, so the water shouldn't wick up, but it could still wick up from the exterior plaster. So this gives us a spot to stop our exterior plaster so it never actually touches the ground and it won't pull any water up. And this is just a drip irrigation tube that we're screwing up into um, the soil bags up at an angle to hold in between these two layers right above the gravel bag. So this is a really great idea. I've been doing it for the last couple of builds that I've done and it works really well. Gives you just that nice clean edge and gives the bottom of the plaster a bit more strength as well. Uh, and we're also going to do lath on this one as well. So there'll be lath, just chicken wire lath coming down. It'll stop about half an inch before the render stop. And then the final la layer of plaster will come and cover about uh, half of the tube and then come straight up. So it'll be a clean stop so the water can't wick up the plaster that's often just plastered straight to the ground. While Jonathan's still working on stuff over at the dome, Adela and I are going to be cutting bottles. So we have archway above the windows and the door, so we're going to cut a bunch of these See if we have time to fit them in. We only have a few hours before we need to leave. So we'll at least get them cut and cleaned and ready to install. It's the last day with Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> We're really sad. We've we been hate doing. To see him go. I know. We've been doing so many little random things this morning. We put the render stop on. 
you cut a big hole in the wall. Yeah, you yep. punched a hole in our door. Yep. Prison we, break. Yep, we <laughs> got the uh, we got the door handle on a door. Uh-huh. We did well. We did well for two earth baggers. I have never done that before. <laughs> I, I was a little worried, but it's, it went okay. Um, and we got to take you to the airport. Yeah. <gasps> Sad faces. Mm, massive sad face. <laughs> We've had such a fun time with you. It's, it's been, been unbelievable. Yeah. We do need to plan a time for him to come back and stay much longer. Definitely. <laughs> and now, well, in a few months, you'll have a place to stay. That's true. Yeah. That's true. As soon as it's finished, <laughs> you just come right Adelaide back. Out, kick right? Adelaide out and be like, hey, I built this. <laughs> oh, man. But I feel super, super sad. And I just can't thank you guys enough, you know. I feel so honored to have been here for the last month. And I feel, I know everybody watching would be so jealous of me (laughs) because I get to be here with you guys and the whole family. So, really, it's been out of this world and it's been so great and way too short, as always. And and I think we said this already, but, like, we were just so in awe of the way you ran the workshop and how you included everybody and you taught them and, like, you brought the science and the math you know, like the research into this, because we've just kind of been winging it a lot, I feel like. Um, he also brought the magic, though. Uh, you, gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta admit that. Yeah, there's some something magical uh, <laughs> yeah. about this guy. So, we're gonna miss you a lot. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you heaps, and heaps, and heaps. And it's a, it's a three-way magical triangle. And even with everyone else, you know, like... The whole family and everyone that came, you know, like I said, it's everyone that comes and everyone that makes the energy together. So I was just so proud to be here and so happy. Well, we got to do it again. Yeah. 100%. We'll build another dome. (laughs) Absolutely. We have three more to go. (laughs) One for each child. One each year. That'd be great. (laughs) Yeah. That sounds good. All right. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us and Hayden. We will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye. That was pretty good. We didn't cry too much. That was good. That was good. (laughs) Are we going? Yeah. All right, guys. Hayden's here. Morning. First stop, Lowe's. See what we can find. Woo! (laughs) Hayden's first time at a tractor supply. Do you want one? I do. Can we expense it for the workshop? (laughs) Hey. Guys. Oh, man. The trench is ready. To build the Super W Dump. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> With this circle, because I want to come and meet that that side. You can see what's low and what's high. You! We're doing one more just with the fan. Day four, four layers. Ooh. I mean, don't get all spooky on me, Jonathan. Every day is another layer. Tighten that out a bit. Make sure there's no kinks on the inside. Like- <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. And <laughs> y'all hug <hungry>? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> This work is so emotional for me and it's got so much tied in for me. Rebate the hinges and put the door on. Trim the door and then put the door on. <laughs> you ready for the tiny bag? Yeah. But we're also doing all of our measurements in May. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I did not. I did not.